Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. We're kind of at that crossover temperature today. It's like 12 degrees outside. I didn't know whether to go long sleeve base layer, long sleeve top, short sleeve base layer and arm warmers or short sleeve base layer and a long sleeve top because I know probably whatever option I choose it'll be I'll be either too warm or too cold. So I went for a short sleeve base layer and a long sleeve top. Nah, I don't know. I think I made the right decision going short sleeve base layer and long sleeve jersey. The temperature's bang on but uh, I'm heading out through Dunstable today down towards the Chilterns and I'm currently going up a climb called Dunstable Downs that's why I'm out of breath, I'm, I'm not unfit but essentially today what I'm going to do is a lap around Luton, a three hour lap around Luton there should be a good amount of climbing on today's ride riding on my own today, I, I put on Twitter last night uh, you know, does anyone in the Bedfordshire area want to ride tomorrow? but no one, no one wants to ride I will often do that when I'm in an unfamiliar place of the country I will often put on Twitter, you know, does anyone want to go for a ride, so you should follow me on Twitter, links down below. There must be a triathlon or, or a duathlon on today because there's signs saying caution runners and there's just cyclists everywhere. I, uh... See? <laughs> and they've all got numbers on which is kind of a giveaway. Alright, so I've just stopped here. I'm in a place called Redbourne in the Chilterns. It's a little it's a little village and uh, the reason I stopped here is because about two years ago I did a race here. It's, technically it was a crit, but it wasn't on a you know a track like a conventional crit circuit. It was actually around this little village square. They shut all the roads off. It was such a cool race. It was just a crit but on proper roads. It was so much fun. I was in the breakaway with one other guy and on the very last lap we came to this corner here. It's a sharp left hand corner. We both hit the gravel and both hit the deck and crashed. The start finish line was about here, up this little tiny drag. Very last corner, we came around here. Sharp left hand turn, bang. That was a guaranteed second place just out the window. We crashed and by the time we got back up, my, my bars were bent. I couldn't get back racing. The group came past us and yeah. The last, we'd raced for an hour, we'd been away in the breakaway for a whole hour and we crashed in the last lap. That's racing though. It's never easy riding through the Chilterns, but there's no such thing as an easy ride through the Chilterns. It's just constant, you're either going up or down and they're real hard roads, it's surprising. I have done 40 miles and 3,000 feet of climbing, which in my opinion isn't bad for somewhere that's not particularly known for the climbing and that is the end of training three hours today in zone two good ride hello hello how's revision good thank you what are you, what are we learning about today um it's the musculoskeletal diseases and disorder section so everything that can go wrong oh sounds interesting duke you want to go for a walk Should we go for a walk? <laughs> George is still inside revising. She can she can just revise like all day long. I remember back when I was doing my A-levels and my GCSEs, about one hour 30 to two hours at a time was like my threshold. And then I just had to stop and have a break. But Georgia can just, she, like, she's been going since eight o'clock this morning and she hasn't stopped. It's insane. But anyway, it appears that when Sam and Lexi, my two dogs are in the vlog, they uh, they steal the show. They. You know, they get they, they get the attention, they get more attention that, than I get. So I thought, you know what, it's about time, it's only right you get to know George's two dogs. She's also got two dogs. This is Duke, he's a Great Dane. He's massive, absolutely massive. You're massive, aren't you, Duke? And then, that's Alfie. He is a Vamorana. As you've just seen, well Alfie is, is, is quite a big dog, but Duke is massive. So as you can imagine when I go back home to Sam and Lexi, they just look like toy dogs, like little miniature dogs. You'd make a good camera person. You're not going to say that when we start going and yeah. like jumping all over them. <laughs> all, the, all the footage would just be like... <laughs> yeah. Alright, so for this afternoon, 
I've just been watching the Tower of Yorkshire, you've just been revising. We haven't really done an awful lot, have we? Nope. But uh, your grandparents, George's grandparents, very kindly offered to cook us tea. Or dinner, sorry, I should say dinner. All the southern. Yeah. Oh, no, I just took us all. <laughs> No, I'm not. It's just all the viewers are from from down south. So You're just becoming southern. If I say if I say tea, only a minority will be able to associate themselves with me. Welcome to the newest southerner group. <laughs> I will never be a southerner. Anyway, I digress. We're heading we're heading over now to George's grandparents to get some dinner. We don't have to cook for the evening, and I mean, who can turn down free food? Um, we just got back from dinner. Dinner was really, really good. But um, George's brother, Ethan, has been away racing in Isle of Man this week, and he's been racing the Junior Tour of Junior Isle of Man Tour. The Isle of Man Junior Tour, I think, is the proper name. But anyway, he won the first stage. He got like fourth on the second stage, and, and fourth or fifth on the third stage, which meant he has placed fourth overall, which is which is pretty damn awesome, especially as a first year junior. So this was just on the worktop next to. Uh, Next to where I put the camera down. Has anyone ever had this? It's so, so nice. I used to eat this all the time and then I didn't buy it for a couple of months. And I was in the shop yesterday and I saw it and I was like, I gotta have it, I've gotta have it. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of addicted to it again. This goes on everything, porridge, toast. I just eat it, eat it like out of the tub. Probably not very good for me though. And that's probably the end of the vlog. Back home tomorrow, thanks for watching.